Whoa, careful. Oh, mum, careful. Ah, back up, back up. Bro, chill. That's He's gonna have to back up. Bro, yes. cut him some slack, bro. This is a dangerous road. Not that bad, to be fair, so far. He's a bit nervous, probably. Probably is. Although, I haven't seen any motorhomes yet, um, which I'm pleased because they shouldn't. Is he stopping? Oh, yeah, he is. Yeah. Or she. I can't see that far. Wow, this is, uh, yeah. I can see why, but this isn't this that bad. I don't think we've done the bad part yet, the worst part. I think, oh, we're coming up to a hairpin bend now. Thank you, sir. Those two kind of look like the same from the other car. Oh, there's the hairpin bend. Look, can you see that there? <laughs> yeah, wow, oh. okay. <laughs> I oh. didn't want to be going up things, to Ooh. be honest, but I think we have to go up to come down, and I think I sh maybe we should have done it the other way around, but <laughs> this is fine. There's barriers here, we're perfectly safe. Yeah, I know. Today, we are driving one of Scotland's most dangerous roads to see what all the fuss is about. Is it as bad as everyone says it is? Will it be as scary as the mountainous road we drove in Spain? Link in description below. You let me know if you think the Balachnabar or the Spanish road is worse. Welcome. If you're new here, my name is Faye and me and my wee family live in the very far north of Scotland. We spend our free time exploring and taking family adventures. For those that aren't new, welcome back beautiful people. Please do make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. It's free to do and really helps the channel. And I always love chatting to you in the comments. I spent ages trying to figure out which way I needed to go, so we only went down the Balachna Bar and not up, as I really didn't fancy doing the hairpin bends going up the hill, expecting it to be super busy. Turns out I calculated it all wrong, and that's how we ended up doing it the first time. The road from the Balach Cafe and Gallery on the A896 towards Applecross brings you up the hairpin bends. The views from this direction are beautiful. The road starts off slowly inclining and getting narrower and narrower against the cliff edge. And then there's the hairpin bend. Considering it was July and a relatively okay day weather-wise, we really were surprised at how quiet the road was. However, that didn't stop us seeing some dangerous and silly driving, which I will go into more detail later in the video. Past the hairpin bend it leads you up to the viewpoint at the top, which on a clear day brings you some breathtaking views. We had a semi clear day and were pleased to be able to see in the far distance the mountain. As we saw the dark clouds coming, we decided to get down from the 626 metre elevation and head to Applecross for some fish and chips. We discussed whether we would take the coastal road as planned or go back up the Balachnabar, as we didn't find the drive all that bad and actually really enjoyed it. My concern was never actually the driving of the road, but more people on the road. We saw some truly silly driving and behaviour to be honest, people refusing to reverse back and making others who were way further away from their nearest pass and place reversing down and up hills. My mum's car got clipped by a motorhome wing mirror, which is frustrating as large vehicles like motorhomes are advised not to take this road.
the car ended up with a scratch on the door. We saw petrified people not having a clue to keep their distance and not bunch up, people cycling up the route and people just not knowing how to drive such a road. It was other people that worried me about doing the Balachnabar. the drive from Applecross back towards the Blatch Cafe harder due to the fact that there were more corners you couldn't seem to see past and felt like it wasn't as easy to see as far ahead of you in the direction you were going. However all in, I don't think the Blatch Navar was that bad a road. If you've watched my Exploring Spain series, you will see the mountainous road there. Do you think that was worse than the Blatch Navar? If you haven't watched the episode, it's the Hiking in Spain video. That road was scary and I'd say scarier than the Balachnava. Tell me in the comments what you think. We also stopped at Loch Torridon Community Centre, completely by accident to be honest, but I'm so pleased we did. What a lovely wee place to check out loads of local and Scottish artists and creatives with paintings, wood carvings, wool accessories, handmade notebooks, handmade candles and so much more. A truly unique and welcoming place. The cake in the cafe was also yummy. If you're in the area I would highly recommend stopping. How did you find our trip driving the Balachnava? Don't forget to let me know what you thought of this road in the comments. Would you drive it? Check out my hike in Spain episode to see if you think the Sp Spanish mountainous road was more dangerous. Thank you so much for watching. Please do like, comment and subscribe below to keep up to date with my new videos. More to come for our adventures on the west coast of the Scottish Highlands. So hit that subscribe button and notification bell to join us. Bye guys!